Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video we are going to talk about a book that is my book for the challenge 12 books for 12 months of 2022 so we are almost finishing the challenge, the, the challenge of last year and the book I'm talking about is The Great Gat Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and this is my December book. I have still the uh, Puddenbrook by Thomas Mann to review, so that will be my last book for uh, the challenge of last year. So let's see when um, that will come out because I'm still reading it. I still have 200 pages to read, so. I wanted to do, to do a, a video review or a review video this month still, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So at the beginning, I I think uh, this week even I will be able to post a video. So let's see. But well, about the Great Gatsby of F. Scott Fitzgerald. So this book was published in 1925 and I want to first talk a bit about the author and then we are going to the plot and uh, then I'm going to comment some things about what I thought and tell you some, some phrases by a free translation because I read this in Portuguese uh, and some phrases that I enjoyed and I took something from them I will comment also so beginning to talk about the author so F. Scott Fitzgerald was born in 1896 so he was born in the turn of the 19th to the 20th century and it is in the beginning of the 20th century that we see the ascent of the United States. It's the beginning of what is going to be called the American century. And the crazy 20s is when Fitzgerald is a young man and in his book he's going to portray that point in time. So when the book was published in 1925, he was 29 years old. So Fitzgerald was a man who came from good families, but lost their money. And we can see a connection with the main character of The Great Gatsby, Nick. Nick Carraway. They both came from traditional American families that lost their money. A fun fact about Fitzgerald is that he was a Hollywood screenwriter and he was there to make money, but that only happens after he had written The Great Gatsby and he will write a lot also for magazines. And so, with this introduction about the author, let's talk about, about the plot of The Great Gatsby. So, Nick, as I've said, is the main char character, Nick Carraway, and he is our narrator. And we find him moving from the Midwest to New York. And in the first paragraphs, Nick tells us a phrase that his dad will say to him. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. So right there, we have a glimpse of the character of Nick. His father was a merchant. He had a, ch a shop and Nick, when he moves to New York, is going to work in the financial market. So Fitzgerald is portraying what was going on in America at that time, the boom of financial trade. 
people were coming, becoming aware that it was possible to generate money without that being directly linked to production. So money generates money, the motto of financial market. So Nick goes to live in a place in this house where he is surrounded by mansions and the neighbors even wanted to buy the house where he is to build a pool or something like that. So the house where he is is really simple, really uh, humble. So comparing to the mansions that he have nearby. He is neighbor of a man called Gatsby that he, Nick doesn't know, so he doesn't know him. He only hears the parties that he gives in his house, the fabulous parties. Uh, and on the other side, Nick has another mansion where lives a cousin called Daisy, who is married to a billionaire called Tom. Further in the story, we find out that Gatsby and Daisy knew each other from when they were younger. It's not so many years ago, but I think like four to five years ago. And they had a romance. Gatsby was poor and she came from rich families. So, a cliché. He could get into the, her house or the house of her family because he was a soldier in the army fighting in the war uh, and so the army had an egalitarian affirmation because there was the mentality they, that they were fighting in the war together so poor and rich didn't matter and that's, that will be the only way for Gatsby to get into the house of Daisy but in the point when they met, he hadn't the means to sustain her. So while Gatsby is serving in the war, there, uh, Daisy marries Tom. And so when Gatsby appears in this neighborhood as a rich man, we don't know how that came to be. So we don't know how he became rich. And even between the participants of his parties, they gossip about the deals that Gatsby is into. So they, um, everyone has a, a story about how Gatsby became rich. Gatsby finds out that Nick is cousin of Daisy and he invites Nick to his mansion. And we later find out that that was for him to get closer to Daisy. Because of Nick's education, he doesn't judge Gatsby and they we become really close friends. Nick ends up arranging the encounter between Gatsby and Daisy and so the story develops after that. I'm not going to say what happens because now we are getting into the part of spoilers. But so, the story of the book is told by the perspective of Nick. So, what he doesn't see, we also don't know. And although the book is called The Great Gatsby, we little find out about Gatsby life. And because we don't know how Gatsby came to become rich, or came to, to be rich, uh, some gossip about alcohol smuggly, smuggling, so that that accusation comes up, um, and so as as readers become divided between admiration for Gatsby and despise. But Gatsby encapsulates the incarnation of the American myth, the American dream the land where everything is possible. And he himself has his own dream, become rich to marry Daisy.
this book in particular with the portrayal of the crazy 20s in a way predicts what is going to happen in 1929. Although it was published years prior to that, the story ends up badly. And so now I, will, I would like to share with you some phrases that I thought they were curious and they... How can I explain it? Uh, Fitzgerald has a way to, like in a subtle way, that when you are not expecting, comes up with phrases that stay with you and that give you a punch about what is being commented, like in a dialogue or something. So comes a point where is being described the life of Daisy and Tom. Tom comes from a family with old money. So he, his family is rich like a long time. And he's so rich that even in Yale, the university where he went, people would open their mouths to how rich he was. And Fitzgerald describes that their lives were coming and going to places and playing polo and being with other rich people. And he says some things, something that is like, so they come and go and they go to play polo and being rich together. So it's like how people of the same um, social stature come together to do stuff thing do things together so the idea is the same so rich people come together with rich people to do rich people things you know so i think that's how the world works but He's, he's funny the way that he, between the, the text, he drops that thing and it makes you think. In another point, Daisy, which is a, lu a luxury doll, she doesn't do anything, asks what, she asks, what are you going to do this afternoon? What are we going to do for the rest of our lives? So, because they don't have an activity, because they, are, they simply are rich, they don't have to work, they don't have to do anything for themselves, they, uh, they have uh, employees and they have servants to, that come with the, the, everything already made to them. It's like what we are going to do with the rest of our lives like <laughs> you know but i think that's a fair question so it's funny how Fitzgerald in the details you know because it's not um a description saying that they were uh, la uh lazy or something no it's like between the dialogues so in a subtle way Fitzgerald makes critics and in another point Daisy says something unpleasant and Nick turns to Gatsby and says something like Daisy has a strange voice doesn't she it's full of and Gatsby says says her voice is full of money so the most interesting thing here for us is maybe to find out that the great love of Gatsby is money. In, in the same way that the hero of this book is money. So would Gatsby love Daisy if she were poor? We don't know. And that's the fun of this book. And so I have to say that I was expecting something else from this book. I remember to see the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio 
um, but that were that was many 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 years ago like when it came out so many years ago um, and I don't remember I remember just glimpse of that movie so I didn't have a clear idea of the story in my mind and I came to this reading with some expectations I, I was um, expe expecting something fantastic you know uh, I, I was expecting to come out of this reading blown away so and that didn't happen um, it was funny because I thought that Gatsby would be the main character of this book and that doesn't happen it doesn't work like that it was interesting the way that Nick is our narrator and we find out about the story of Gatsby through Nick but Nick is a partial um, testimony in a way because he doesn't know many things and so we end up the reading and we are in blindness about what really Gatsby was doing and how were how he became rich why he, he had all that money and even about Gatsby thoughts we don't know so much what was he thinking what was his intentions so because we are seeing the story through the eyes of Nick and so I found it interesting but I was expecting something else you know so but I really I still really really advise you to uh, pick this one up I think it has reflections that are on point um, he has here many critics to society and the uh, stratification of societies and social the social ladder let's say so really really acid in some point not in a as i've said before not in an explicit way but in the details in the subtleties the critics are there so very interesting in that point and yeah i i enjoyed okay i enjoyed but i think the, the problem is that i was with big expectations and I was expecting to be something and it didn't come out that way so I think that's my problem but the book is really good so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I see you on the next one. Bye!